So it is chilly, wet, and cold, and I have a big bandage on my nose. <laughs> okay, so hi, my friend. I'm Pat Sloan. Uh, so thank you for being here. So remember the other day when I said I had a lot of different things to do with, um, you know, I had to clean up some personal stuff and do paperwork and whatever, whatever. Well, a lot of that was also uh, filming some videos because this past week I had a bunch of different doctor appointments. You know, they just all came, you know, I made the appointments in December, new medical system, so things take a while to be your you know, first patient, non-urgent care. And so I got all those done. And one of them was getting a spot checked on my face. For those of you who have been here with me since 2021, you, <clears throat> and maybe 2020 when I broke both my wrists, but 2021, I also had basal cell carcinoma, which is a skin cancer. Uh, not the worst kind, uh, slow growing, not too bad. I did a whole video on that experience. So you can watch this video if you want to know what that was about. And that was on my nose, actually up on my nose. And you know, I looked like the bride of Frankenstein for a period of time until that all healed up. One of the things my doctors told me at that time is that when you have skin cancer, uh, you're more than likely going to have more of them. And my mom, my dad, my brother have all had multiples. And so I was just expecting and waiting for my turn. <laughs> and I have a spot that doesn't look right. We don't know what it is. And the way that you handle that, the doctors recommend, my doctors recommend, and I agree with, is you have to remove it and check it. Because I've already had skin cancer once, the way you know is to do a biopsy. You remove it and then you they, they check it and see. Now that process does take about a week. I, you won't hear this week from me on it. It'll be next week, most likely, unless for some reason it comes in before I film Friday's video. Uh, but. You know, the doctor, I have a great doctor, and she took um, everything that she could for the analysis. So basically what that means is that uh, if it is a basal cell carcinoma, then she removed everything she could. When they test it, they look at the outer edge of the sample, and if that's clear, you know, First of all, if it's not cancer, then great. It wasn't any, you know, it wasn't bad stuff. She stitched me up and I just heal. So I have uh, several beautiful stitches under the bandage. Uh, uh, but if it is, they check the edges. And if the edges are clear, once again, she did all the work already, I won't have to go back. But if it is and the edges are not clear, meaning they still see cancer cells on the sample, then I will have to go into the more extensive Mohs surgery, which is what I did for the side of my nose. So this area here, just for information, this area here is not the same place I had before. Also, this place came from further up on my face because when they had to cover this, they basically pull the skin over. Well, I know, I know it sounds disgusting, doesn't it? But <laughs> that's what they do. Uh, and so it actually had, that skin had been somewhere out here prior on my face. And uh, now it is actually right in the crease on the side of my nose. So I am not concerned. I am not worried. Uh, but it is a fact that I will have this on until the day after Easter. Uh, the bandage when then the stitches will come out and then it'll continue healing. If you've had any kind of a surgery or cut on your face, your face skin heals really quickly, um, which is fabulous. I was, it was much quicker than my wrists. Uh, the surgery from here, those took a lot longer to heal quickly, you know, to heal. They just different type of skin on your face, which is great. But lucky me, you know, other people get this and it's like on their hairline, the back of their ear down. Whoops, sorry, hit the mic down here on their chest. But no, mine are always like right smack in the middle of my face where everybody gets to see it. So <laughs> anyway, anyway, that is just, you know, that's life. It's real life and I'm sharing real life because if you have a spot on your face that is not healing, that keeps coming back in the same spot, that looks weird, like a scar and then why would you have a scar there? Um, or something that's red or a white, like might look like a pimple, but it doesn't ever go away. All those things you should get checked. You should go to your dermatologist and have them checked. Okay, so that is my public service announcement for today. <laughs> so I have a bunch of different uh, projects I sort of 
putzed around and worked on. Um, you know, for me, it takes sort of a lot of mental energy to go do these kind of appointments. And so afterwards, I really am not doing work and things. I'm just sort of letting my mind have a mental break. And, you know, that's just the way it is. You just have to do what you have to do to um, for yourself. So, you know, I don't progress very far in the past. March has been that month. March has been the month where I just was getting all these things done. I know I've, I've gone back to the topic. <laughs> I digress. I digress back. Uh, but it's just been a slow month for me. Okay, so I did get, I did move forward on a few things. I have, and we're gonna, and I'm gonna show you the next Millie's dresses, which I have to get out of my cabinet. I didn't bring them over here. So first of all, the mercantile, I got, uh, I got the last blocks done. I was like, okay, let's get them cut, let's get them up, let's sew them up. Uh, and then I wanted to show you. Let me just first show you the quilt, and then I have a couple clips where I was working on it that I thought you might find interesting the process. So so here it is. Here it is. So I've got those last those last blocks where I was balancing out some color things with them and the style of the blocks. So let's let's take a look at that. There are all the blocks. That looks really good. I'm loving loving that black and white gingham in there. Okay, so next I need to do a picture of the joy block, so I'll put them up, and then I need to put up the block a day, which is no longer a block a day for me, but chunks, and then work on that guy. So that's what's next. There we go. See it again. Oh, nice. I have to, I have to do some math to figure out a border, what I want to do with the border. So that, I'm really happy with that. I need to then now do a little bit of math and figure out how I want to do a border on mine because I do want to use the center that were cut away. I want to use that fabric, you know, the big circle that that uh, is cut out. So I want to use that fabric in some way on the border. And I might end up just doing some strips and sewing them together and then making, like I probably will do like a, a, a light and then those strips and then maybe another light, something like that. I'm gonna do simple, I'm not gonna do the border in the pattern, I decided. Okay, so Millie's dresses, here are my next two. Uh, another day I'll get them up on the wall because that's up there right now and I do not want to move that at the moment. So here's my next two dresses. These are done from a Tilda fabric line with the accents being my fabric line. So yeah, I'll get them in the picture pad. I can't see, you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> so there they are. I got those. So they're they're so beautiful. Just so beautiful. So much fun for the Millie's dresses. The other thing I did was I needed to take a photo of the Joy. Here are the Joy, Joy, Joy blocks. <laughs> so I did a little picture, brought one of the gnome out. I thought that would be really cute. So, okay. So that's that. Now, now, this guy up on the wall. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> I love those so much. Remember, there's a few corrections to the um, in, from the book that Wendy is keeping track of on her website. And the link to that page is at the project page on my I Love to Make Quilts. Go to my loved, I Love to Make Quilts. Go to the project page for Christmas all year. And then you can click over to Wendy's and grab those uh, grab those changes. They're not a horrible change, but you, you should have them. You know, they're not like crazy crazy changes. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's see. So today on our Facebook group, share a spring table runner, spring door banner, share some sort of springy thing. I'm feeling it. I didn't even know that when I wrote the calendar, but I do know like the second half of March is the toughest month part of the month of an entire year. Uh, just waiting, waiting for the cold because it usually gets a little warm and then it goes back to cold. Anyway, uh, I am going to make this one, this door banner. I actually, I'm going to cut it soon, like very, very soon, like maybe this afternoon. We'll see, we'll see. And then I'll show you the parts cut up, but you can still get these. They're a kit. So you have to get the, it only comes as a kit, but uh, it's super darling, very reasonable. So be sure you pick that up be sure you pick it up get it 
Okay, let's let's do. Let's see. I have a, I have some stuff that come came in the mail. So let me just show you what came in the mail. Uh, this is from our friends Lori and Cindy, uh, and they they their mother daughter. And they have, uh, I believe they're, you guys are the ones that came to Harrisonburg. And so they sent me a little goodie. Uh, and they actually, first I'll show you the, the candy. So some of you, not, one of our other friends made me this basket. Isn't it adorable? So I use it a lot. But they gave me these candies. They sent me these from, do any of you know this company? Yeah? Look. And then there's all kinds of flavors in there for Easter. Look at that. I'm going to share... Uh, a couple with my dad and his wife too because I think they really enjoy it and then she gave me a whole write-up about it they're an Ohio company um, and so that's that's super fun it's super fun to learn the history I appreciate that so much Papa's Papa's candies but they also sent me wrapped in this box which was a little big box and I was like what is in there <gasps> look at this look at this can you did you hear me squeal I'm like ah Oh my gosh, red and white polka dots and the mushrooms on the base of this. This is so stinking cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thinking of me when you saw this. I love it to pieces. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. <laughs> Just so adorable. Elizabeth in Ohio, she's moving, she says. So she was moving and she found something for me. So she sent me this pretty card that she made. Isn't this darling? And a whole... A whole bunch there's a whole bunch more whole bunch whole package of these whoops peanut butter buckeyes oh, peanut butter. Oh, oh gonna crack into one of these immediately Elizabeth immediately and then she sent me something from Tiffany's <laughs> she said it's not from Tiffany's she says even what came in the original box wasn't from Tiffany's but now I own a Tiffany's box <gasps> I have a Tiffany's down just, just down the way a bit, about 15 minutes away. So what did, what did she send? <laughs> oh, she's got it pinned in here. Okay, I'll hold it up. Look, it is a gorgeous mushroom pin. So pretty. I think I'm going to take it down to Tiffany's and have it evaluated. <laughs> Don't you think that would be fun? They'd probably go like, ma'am. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. <laughs> And uh, our friend Elaine sent me a little, she sent me some goodies, sent me a really sweet, really sweet Easter card. Thank you, Elaine, if you're in our morning chat and in our Facebook group. Elaine is a very active um, person in our group. She's always there sharing and talking to everybody. So she sent me some stickers, stickers, stickers. Ah. Oh. Summer flamingos are for summer. Yes, they are. And of course, the peeps. So cute. I love peeps. You know, I love peeps. Well, she also found me some peep things. There we go. Some peep things. And she said the gummies are really good. <laughs> These are excellent in coffee. You just put it and float it on the top. They are heaven. They are heaven. And I had to laugh. I just had to laugh, Elaine. Look at the Fruit Loop socks. <gasps> so sweet. So cute. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I just can't believe it. You guys are so amazing to think of me. It's just so amazing. Now, I told you this the other day. I had a little bit of leftovers, and I was going to make a mug rug. So there it is. I made one. Uh, I don't think I'll make any others. It's just too close to Easter and too much other stuff. But I did get one made, and I'm, I really adore it. Now, one of the things I just want to tell you that... I found personally, I do a lot of my um, blanket and a lot of my binding with the, the machine. I sew it on the back, pull it to the front, and then stitch it down with a straight stitch or a blanket stitch. But what I found over the years is something small. I don't tend to, f to like it as much on something small. I think because I'm seeing it more up close because there isn't a lot of room for, for um, sort of your eye to see other things like when you have a bigger quilt your eye is mostly looking at the center when you have a small piece like this like the whole item just seems to uh, stand out more i don't know if that even makes sense but that's how i feel about it so i tend to do the little ones by hand so stitch it down by hand on the back 
and which is always beautiful. You know, stitching by hand is beautiful, but <clears throat> I never feel like I want to take the time to do that for all the quilts that I need binding for, which is still way too many. I, <laughs> I have one sitting there ready to bind, just ready. It's not, it's not got binding on it yet, but I, it's ready. Okay. Reminder, sign up for the Benner Tax uh, virtual show. I am on the second day in the afternoon. That's when I will show you my next fabric line that'll be out in the early fall. So uh, if you wanna sign up, you get to see a preview of all the things coming up. It's a lot of fun. And they give prizes if you're there during the live portion. So uh, you definitely fun to be involved. And the designers are almost all able to be there live. Not always, some are out teaching or whatever. Um, but you know, life happens. Uh, but I will be there for sure. All right, let's look at block a day. That's what I got on the wall. I decided I need it up, 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 up. I need it done. I need it. I need it done. My block a day is not a block a day this month, this year, rather. Uh, I do it. This is like the fourth year. I think I started in 2020. So this would be the fourth year of block a day and for March, just to get us through March. But it is, you know, my month has been a little bit unpredictable with my time. So, so there we go. I did a few things before we get to where I am now. Let's take a look. Well, my block a day that is actually not been a block a day is still at this point, which means I have to do this row, this row, and this row. So three rows on the bottom side. So I'm more than halfway, right? Because I have this, 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 and this, and now I have to do these. Th oh, there's four. One, two, three, four. So I have to do four on the bottom side. So I've got, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the rest of everything and then just sew through. Just sew, 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 sew. I already have the um, setting triangles cut and I believe I have all the navy and all the blue. So it's just really analyzing what else I need. I am loving the navy in the middle gives it really nice definition, the little navy squares. And I like the pops of the lighter blue that are going to be around there. So, okay, that's, that's the plan. So here is where I am. Uh, I have a lot of stuff already cut and I actually just cut a little bit more, but let me explain. So I've got these four rows for to do and the um, darker circles here are what all of these pieces are along with these right here. Uh, these are the centers and those are the corners and these are all the side strips. And so because I need 10 more, I'm just gonna go ahead and make them all in twos. So I'll do uh, one, another one of each of these. And then I will partner them with a center. And I don't know if I've got enough centers there, I didn't count, but I will kind of look at what I already did and see what that looks like. See what the, you know, like, do I want to mimic the same thing? That's really easy then. So if I've got like the, all that, all those fabrics together there, do I want to do that again for here? So I need to take a look at that. And then the other thing is to create these special units where I have the light blue and the navy. And so I've got all the polka dot cut and this is one, the first one I laid out. And so I think what I'm going to do in order to keep it straight in my brain, I'll do B1, B2, B4, 5, 4, and 3. And so I just need to set up the navy and the light blue squares so they mimic, mimic all of that. So once I get that done, I will probably sew those first so that I can be sure that I'm in the right place and I will probably mark them. Uh, to you know put their number that way I don't get confused and then after that so the others so there that's how that's how I got to here and then what I have is the last block there we go whoops oh, I forgot the clip was on there this is the last block oh, I, I dropped the alphabet -y too there it is should I redo the filming no no it's real life so it's block number one of that style. And I'm clipping it on here just so that I know I got it in the right position. So all of these that are up here pinned have the, um, have the block. Oh, 
it's, I can't move. Okay, so have the number on there. And then this one goes here because it's all the dark darks and it's in the middle. So my darks are in the middle and then I have the light ones around the outside and that's how I can double check that everything's in the right place. Now the other blocks which have the center, I have everything, I do have it all cut, everything's cut and ready to go. So now I can just zoom along in the next day or so and get, get all those done and get the center. After that, I have to pick a border. So um, from Paradise Park. So I'll be picking one of the sort of larger florals from Paradise Park and we'll talk through that in the next day or so. Uh, yeah, I love it. I'm thinking, oh, it's just so, it's so cheerful and I love the polka dots. This is definitely, even though I've not been doing it a block a day, it is definitely a uplifting uh, project for me, you know, and that's just to keep me going and hopefully a lot of you, and I know a ton of you have finished already because it's that kind of a project. And um, I will eventually grab some of the photos and do a quilt parade, but you can always go to Quilt Along with Pat Sloan and see everything right now. Okay, so one, one last thing, one last thing. Sewing Parts Online, remember, is giving uh, my community a discount with uh, the Sloan Zone as a code to get a 10% discount on your orders. And I did an order, and I wanted to show you how wonderfully it is packed. So they packed it so beautifully. You know, I was getting an Ackfeld wire hanger, which means they're a little bit more delicate, and they put bubble wrap on the top and on the bottom, on the bottom. And so I got this hanger, the Ackfeld hanger, to put a quilt on. I thought, I'm going to find a place for that because it is so sweet. And then I've always wanted to try this pattern <clears throat> with the um, pillow. I just think it's so cool. So I always wanted to try that. Plus, I have adored this pattern forever. It is a foundation. It's a paper piecing from Violet Craft. And I just have always loved it. So I thought, okay, I'm tossing that in, tossing that in the box too. And so that, uh, Sewing Parts Online, if you've never ordered from them, you should start. They are a great partner and do um, have wonderful deals. Uh, that's where I point you to for picking up a baby lock sewing machine uh, online. And they, anything you buy from them, anything, doesn't matter. You just use my link then your entire purchase, I receive a small commission, which is fab fabulous. I bought this box though. They didn't send this to me. I bought it because I wanted to experience their shipping and see how everything is. Okay, my friend, I will finish my coffee and I'm feeling a little bit warmer now. <laughs> so I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online. Mm -hmm.